Hey, what's up, everyone? Um, I'm finally going to be doing my last recap for BB Can 6. Um, yes, a little bit late. You know, the season finished uh, over a week ago. But, you know, uh, I've been very, very busy ever since. We did, uh, you know, the, there was the finale. I went down to Toronto. I was there from Wednesday to Sunday. We did the whole finale weekend. I got to meet and hang out with everybody, all the new house guests. got to see my old friends from Season 3, Season 5, one, two, 1 through 6. I got to see everybody. Um, actually, uh, it was the best weekend. I think that this was the my favorite finale weekend we've had. Uh, and I've been involved with them ever since Season 3. So the last three of them, this is by far, to me, seemed to be the best one. The Season 6 cast, uh, they fit in pretty well. I genuinely liked every single one of them. I got along with... All of them. Uh, Maddie was great. I, you know, I was cheering uh, for her throughout the season. My Ottawa girl, uh, she I finally got to meet her. She was great, fantastic. Uh, Paris, the winner, amazing. I absolutely loved her. Uh, we clicked, got along very, very well. Kayla, Will, you name it, all of them. All amazing, amazing, amazing people. There's not one of them I didn't like. Um, and we just, we all got along really well. So, uh, they're a good addition to the family. Uh, it was a great weekend. I'll get into that a little bit later. But first, I want to talk about, um, you know, at least the last episode or, you know, talking about our winner, uh, what I think of it, the final two, all that stuff. So um, we'll get into the whole finale weekend later. Um, I also want to give another shout out to my boys from FI Collection. Hooking me up with the hats. Awesome job. Thank you very much, guys. You guys have been amazing. So uh, that being said, guys. Here's the last recap for BB Can 6. So I just want to start off by saying I still kind of lost my voice uh, from the finale weekend. Uh, yeah, man, I'm still recovering from it. It was an awesome time. So, so much fun. Um, so I'll try to get through this uh, with a raspy voice, but whatever. Um, it is what it is. So I just want to say, you know, the last week of BB Can 6 was really, really interesting. Really, really good. I loved the the games, the competitions, the, the production value was through the roof. The finale episode itself was incredible. Um, just the intro and, and the competitions and everything was unbelievable. So I actually watched um, the finale with, I don't know, I'm going to guess 20, 30 past house guests. We had people all through seasons one through five, or even six actually, I believe, maybe one through five, I don't remember, but... Uh, we we're all watching it over at Neil at Neil's house. Uh, it was just awesome. Just you know, and it's just neat watching it with a bunch of people that have played, a bunch of people with experience in the house, but they all have different experiences. They all see the game differently, um, and just to see who they're uh, who they're cheering for, who they're rooting for, how they see the game. You know, just because uh, you know we've played the game, and myself included, it doesn't mean we're right. It doesn't mean we know the game better than anybody else, but we do have the experience in it. So it's just really neat to see different people's perspectives um, on the game and, and how people, certain players played and all that stuff. So it was really, really neat. I loved watching the finale with everybody, just having a good time, seeing friends I haven't seen in a couple of years. Uh, just, just really, really fun, really good times. So... I'm not going to get too uh, in detail about the past week and stuff, but I want to talk about the final two, the final three, and then again, because I did meet a lot of these people, so I have a better understanding now of how they fit into the game and all that stuff, just because, you know, when you see people uh, on a TV show, you usually don't get their personalities, um, their charisma, their energy, their vibes, stuff like that. You're seeing them on a TV screen, you're also seeing on a very edited show, even the live feeds, guys, and I'm going to say this, you know, um, be easy on these house guests on Twitter and all that stuff on social media. They didn't sign up for this. I know you're probably going to say, yeah, they signed up for it, blah, blah, blah. No, they didn't. They signed up to do a job to win a hundred thousand uh, dollars. and that's what they're there for. And I just want to say before I get into all this, the, the recaps and all that stuff, um, you know, this is a really big moment for these people. You know, these people just did something that's it's a highlight, one of their highlights of their lives. You know, they're on a high right now. They're really happy. They're they're this is a this is a good moment for them. So it's just a shame when you know when I see these people come out onto social media and they're all excited and stuff and they're just getting trashed. I mean, guys, you know, it's not cool. It's not a cool thing to do. Let them have their moment. Let them enjoy their time. Don't bring them down. It doesn't make you look any cooler or better. Um, and it just brings them down for no reason. I mean, there's no reason to bring people down like that. So um, just, you know what, my advice to you guys, if, if you can, be positive. You know, bring something positive to the table. If you got nothing nice to say, just don't say it at all. Um, but anyway, um, 
that being said, guys, I'm going to get into a little bit of stuff. Uh, again, just, just mostly about finale weekend and mostly just about just things here and there. I'm not going to break down the, the competitions and, and stuff like that. As cool as they were, um, it doesn't matter anymore. So I want to talk about the final. I'll even get into the final three, okay? We'll talk about Kayla, Derek, and, uh, and Paris. So all three of them, you know, and it's funny because I, when you do meet uh, Derek... You know, it's funny because people in the house are saying, oh, or people on Twitter or social media are saying, oh, he wasn't really doing anything. But when you meet the guy, you realize how social he is, how good he is with people. And I've said it many, many times, you know, Big Brother is a social game. Yes, Kayla had a lot of comp wins and people, you know, it depends on which side you look at. You know, people will say, oh, comp wins means you deserve to win the game. In reality, uh, it doesn't. I mean, it looks good and, and I'm not taking anything away from Kayla. She was great. I loved talking to Kayla. She's fantastic. Um, great, great, great person. Um, but I'm just, I'm on a game level here. Um, and, and she deserved, I'm not saying she didn't deserve it. She definitely deserved a win as well. It's just when people say, oh, you know, she played a better game because she had comp wins. Uh, no, that's not true. There's no such thing as the right way to play big brother. The whole point of the game is to get to the end and to get people to give you a hundred thousand dollars. You want to not only get to the final two, but you have to convince these seven, nine, whoever many, uh, jury members that they need to give you the money over the other person. So I think Kayla did a great job playing the game, uh, comp Competition wise, she was a big threat. She had a big target on her back. Um, she ended up being safe. I believe it was week nine or week eight, whatever it was, when she was the big target and she ended up staying. So I think she did a really good job in the game. Uh, I don't think her jury management skills were there or very good. But you know what? That's just that's just the way it is. And uh, I, I'm not taking anything away from her. I think she was fantastic. I think she did a really, really, really good job in the house. She killed it. I think competition-wise, she was an absolute monster. Uh, but again, uh, socially or even uh, jury manage, uh, managing uh, was, was horrible. And, and it was. And it's, it's you know, not a shot at her. Just That's just the way it is. It's just my critique on it. Um, but that's not a shot at her. Uh, and then you have, on the other side, you have Paris, who wasn't uh, very good in the competitions, but her social game was on point. And again, Big Brother is a social game. It's a social experiment. It's all about you wanting people to keep you in the house and get out of their targets. So I think Paris did a fantastic job positioning herself in the house. Um, you know, she was welcomed in every room and every conversation, which is not easy to do. Now, again, maybe it doesn't come across the right way on camera or on TV. And those kind of games, I'm going to say, are hard to show to the audience. When you're a social player, it's hard to show to the audience. Uh, usually they're not the most entertaining players, myself included. I'm not an entertaining player, but I was very, very, very good socially in the house. So people would keep me around. But again, it doesn't come across very well on TV. And I think Paris is in the same, same situation. I think her social game was phenomenal, better than mine, better than a lot of people. Uh, great job. Um, and that's, that was her route to get there. Now, there's no such thing as the right as a right way to play Big Brother, a wrong way to play Big Brother at all. You've seen so many different winners over the years from, you know, floaters to competition beasts, to stra strategists to whatever, floaters, I don't know, loudmouths, whatever you want to call them. There has been so many different types of winners. There's no right or wrong way to play. The only right or wrong way to play is when you're playing to your cast. You have to adapt. Um, so, you know, certain players that have won, uh, I'll, I'll use, I don't know, Evil Dick as an example. He won his season. The players in his season, it worked for them. But say if he were to go on to a completely different season, you know, the way he played may, might get him out week two, week three, week eight, who knows. But Every winner was made for that season because their strategy worked for the people that they were against. And I'm telling you guys, it's, you know, I'll tell you something. Um, Greg, Ginger Ninja, I'll use him as a perfect example. He was supposed to be on season two, but he got in a car accident, broke all his bones and was mangled and he couldn't play. So John Party was actually his replacement for season two. John Party ends up winning. Uh, Greg ends up playing on season three. So here's the thing, you know, I connected with Greg, but what if Greg, you know, and it actually, it, it formed the chop shop and blah, 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 and got our group and it got me numbers for the first half of the game. Uh, but what if Greg didn't play on season three and I didn't have my Greg, the guy that made the chop shop and, and gave me extra bonds of people and all that stuff. Uh, how would I have played on season three? Every single person changes the season so much, you know? So the fact that, you know, um, 
Paris did so well socially in this season, uh, absolutely amazing socially in the season, is because of the people she was with. Now, say if she was on season three, four, five, one, two, maybe her game wouldn't have worked as well. So anyway, I'm going to give her a lot of credit for that. I think she did fantastic socially. Uh, Kayla did amazing um, uh, comp- uh, competition-wise. Um, and Derek, amazing socially. Uh, just like I said, meeting him and seeing just how good he was to everyone. Everyone that met him loved him. Every single person and all the alum that met him loved him. Said he's one of the coolest guys they've met. And it's true. He's a really, really good guy. Down to earth. Doesn't have a big head. Uh, really, I really, really, really liked him. So... Uh, you have two different people sitting in the final two with Paris and Kayla, and both of them are actually deserving to win. And and it's great. I think this is the best final two we've had uh, almost ever. I would say it's definitely in the top top two or three of the final twos that we've ever had uh, because both of them absolutely deserve to win. It's just a matter of which side the jury respected more. As I don't know if it's as a person, as a player, if it's personal, if it's not. I don't know. But it's up to them, and either one of them winning uh, would be amazing for the season. I think they both deserved it. If if they could split it and give them both a hundred thousand, I mean, they both deserved it. So great job on them. Um, but then again, it comes down to jury management, which I've talked to before. I've talked to about before. Uh, it's very, 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 very important. You kind of have to massage these people on the way out as they're going to jury because you want to make them want to vote for you at the end of the day. And if you kind of stab them in the back or give them a little jab on the way out like haha I beat you kind of thing they're gonna laugh at you at finale when they're not writing your name or voting for you for the hundred thousand dollars you got to be very 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 careful as these people are leaving the house um you know so they do vote for you in the end so anyway a uh, great final two absolutely loved it the episode was amazing the Kayla and Paris as people are amazing uh, I have no complaints about either one of them the final competitions were just incredible where they had to stack up those uh the chips on those three legends incredible uh good for paris for winning that not an easy competition to win she destroyed it good job so anyway that's more about that um great episode guys amazing production value was incredible i just absolutely loved it my favorite episode i think to date out of any season it was just unbelievable so uh paris and kayla final two um you know kayla uh you know the speeches and stuff and i'm gonna actually i want to tell you guys something here um you know, the jury, I got to talk about this, actually, I really want to talk about this, because, okay, the jury is is kind of, you know, they're sequestered for whatever, five, six weeks, whatever the hell it is, and, um, you know, they have no outside information, but then they come into the studio, and I'm going to tell you guys something, you know, every time Kayla would speak, the people in the audience would kind of like, kind of boo, or mumble, or whatever and then every time Paris would speak they're all cheering and standing on their chairs and 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 all that stuff now I'm not saying that the um the audience you know swayed the jury into voting for Paris over Kayla I think they were going to vote for Paris over Kayla anyways but what if it was a very tight close vote and some people weren't sure and they go to vote and they're hearing the crowd being like yeah paris and boo kayla it could actually sway somebody's voice or somebody's vote so i'm kind of glad that wasn't the case because everyone's minds were already made up but what if okay what if it was a close vote that each vote actually counted and meant something uh because it was that close and the audience is there booing kayla and praising paris it would actually swear their votes. So I don't know if if they need to change the system or something because that was ridiculous. And I knew I knew people that were in the audience, in the live audience, and they were telling me it was really bad. Uh, we didn't get the gist of it uh, through the TV, but in the studio, it was really, really, really bad. And I'm pretty sure that's why Kayla kind of called them out, uh, all babies, the jury member babies and stuff like that. She could see their reactions, their facial expressions. She could hear the crowd booing and stuff. I think she knew she lost um either way so she kind of wanted to give their last shot like ah you guys are just a bunch of babies you're not voting for me as the winner because you're sour i beat you and i put you there which she's not wrong she's actually right but you know i think she just knew that you know she was out of moves and and she was done and uh so she kind of gave that shot at the end um and whatever it is what it is but yeah their speeches i thought were great i i thought you saw a lot of raw passionate uh emotions uh they were both fighting for the votes i think they both uh you know they fought to the end and i have a lot of respect for them actually it was our first uh final two uh where they were both females uh so that's kind of cool that's kind of great 
And I think uh, they did a really, really good job. Again, I think either one of them winning would have been great. But at the end of the day, there can only be one winner. And I believe the vote ended up being 6-1. to one. Uh, Derek is the only vote for Kayla. Obviously, rightfully so. And, uh, you know, you can't blame the guy for doing that. But anyway, Season 6 champion, Paris. Uh, you know what? I'm happy for Incredible person. Um, you know, you meet her, you just you just fall in love with her, just how great she is. She's just so amazing, down to earth, cool, funny, uh, amazing. So actually, when we were at the finale weekend, uh, we got put into teams uh, through this obstacle course, and Paris was on my team. So I got to talk with her a little bit, get to know her, chat with her. Like I said, amazing, down to earth, funny, um, nothing but good things to say about her, um, and all that. So anyway, I'll get into the, the weekend actually a little bit. Uh, and let's talk about that. Okay, so this year we didn't do Niagara. Usually every year the alum at the, after the finale, we all go to Niagara Falls, have a good little bash there. We've done that for the last five, four or five years, whatever it is. And it was time for a change. I think kind of people were kind of over it. You know, the alum were kind of over it. It's the same thing. Niagara Falls is really big. So everyone kind of gets spread out and, and uh, you know, everyone kind of gets in their own little cliques. You don't really see people. And, uh, you know, it, I think we needed a change. And I'm really, 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 really glad we did. Uh, we ended up doing it in Barrie this year uh, at a little resort, which was incredible. It was so, so good. Everyone was tight. Everyone was close. Everyone stayed together. Everyone got to hang out and, and, and just, you know, reminisce and, and just talk to everybody. And it's just, it's it's so much fun. And it was so amazing. Like I said before, this was my favorite finale weekend ever, ever, ever. No drama, no bullshit, no nothing. Just people that were there appreciated each other. Uh, we, we welcome the new people in. They fit in so well. Um, so, so much fun. We got to do that obstacle course like I was saying. We had a, we had a stacked team. Uh, you know, I had a pretty good team, the pink team. Uh, me, Suzette, Kevin Martin, Paris, Peter Brown, Carl. Yeah, we had the cameraman and his girl. We had everybody. Uh, that was my team. I hope I didn't forget anybody. I'm sorry. Um, anyway, great team. Really fun. Um, good, good day. So anyway, uh, we didn't do anything with the fans this year. Um, I, I, you know what? I see both sides of it. You know, it was nice to, cause I know what it's like when you come out of the house, you're pretty overwhelmed. Your mind's still, it, it's still, you know, going a, a thousand miles a minute. You, you, you're kind of lost and everything. You still think people are against you. You know, the game's over, but your mind is still in big brother mode. And, uh, you know, when you get kind of thrown into the lion's den, you have all the fans there, which, you know, we do appreciate and it, it's, it absolutely appreciate it. And it's because of the fans and everything that, you know, we have a show um, in the first place, you know. Um, but, you know, these people need, uh, I think they need some time to kind of decompress. And who else knows this, this situation better than, than us, the past house guests. So I think it was kind of good for us to just kind of bring them in. Um, you know, just kind of talk to them and let them air out their things and, and say their piece and stuff. And there's no, no drama, no hidden agendas or anything. We kind of get to know each other and, and just hang out and, um, you know, all that stuff. I see that side of it, but I also see the side where they're probably like, Hey, you know, it'd be great to go out and, and see all the people that support us and all that stuff. And, and I see both sides and I know the fans of the show would love to see their players and meet them and talk to them and all that stuff, which I totally understand as well. I see both sides. Uh, I'm just thinking, um, you know, for their own, you know, health and, and mental wellness, uh, you know, it is a lot. It is a lot to take in. I know in the past, uh, house guests, and I've been to the, you know, season three, season four, season five, um, you know, and, and as fun as it is and stuff, you know, we go to like the, the club night where everyone would meet the fans and all that stuff. And you'd have, you know, people from that season, if it's the season three people and it was their finale, where they'd just be in the corner crying all night because they're so overwhelmed. And it's the truth. So I've seen it for season three, season four, season five, where, you know, the players just get so overwhelmed, they don't even want to leave or they get, they're literally in a corner just bawling their eyes out crying because they're just so overwhelmed by people, you know, seeing them, taking pictures, knowing who they are. You know, as, as a lot of people that are fans of the show probably think it's amazing and, oh man, you know, that must be so cool. Okay, I get that, but you know, when you're in, you go from one extreme to another, it's a real big shock to the body because these people go from seeing the same 16 people for three months, you know, and it's not even 16 years, it goes down to 15, 14, 13, all the way down, especially if you're in the final two, you know, you just go from living with three people 
And the next day or two days later, you have literally hundreds of people trying to snap pictures of you and, and they're pulling you in. They want to talk about your game and they want to talk trash for their house guests. And it's a lot to take in. It really is a lot to take in, especially when you're still in big brother mode and your mind's still, you know, everyone's against you and you, and you feel like you have to lie to people when you talk to them. You can't even be honest with yourself or with them. It's really a lot to take in. So it's it's not healthy. I've seen it. Be, I've seen both sides of it where, you know, I came out as a past house guest, you know, where I came out fresh from season three, thrown into the lion's den. And then I went back for season four where I was, you know, a past house guest and I got to watch the new house guests go in and see how they reacted. And then again, when I was in season five, I played again and I was a pat and I was a, you know, a fresh house guest again. So I've seen both sides. Trust me. If anybody knows it's me and it, I don't think it's healthy. I really don't think it's healthy for the players. I've seen a lot of them break down and they're not okay. They're, they were not okay. So it's, um, I, I understand the fans want to meet their players and, and all that stuff. I completely, completely understand. But for their own well-being, it's not the right time and it's not the right thing. I think if they want to do that stuff, they can set up their meet and greets and all that stuff. And you can meet them then. If you're across the country, I'm sorry to say, but that kind of sucks. But um, it's just the way it is. For their own well-being you know finale weekend is not the time so we got to do just our alum stuff uh, which i think was the right move um i personally really enjoyed it but again i wasn't fresh out of the house and i know a lot of the past alum loved it but it's not about us it is about season six and it's all about them and it's just welcoming them to the family it's just they're surrounded by people that understand their situation and what they've just been through and we can kind of help them and guide them uh throughout the way so again just a great weekend i did have to leave a little early so um i was in toronto from wednesday till sunday but the finale we actually started saturday till monday so sunday was mother's day uh you know i married my wife my kids i couldn't just abandon her so i had enough time with everybody got to talk to them meet them um you know, uh, but came back for Mother's Day. So uh, that that's more important to me. So um, it was fun. I, I just, I had a good time. Again, I'm going to say these people were amazing. I have nothing bad to say about them. Um, and, you know, just, I can see why they were picked. While the season was going on, you know, some people like, oh man, how are these people picked? You know, the season's boring, whatever, whatever. But when you meet them and you see their energy and stuff, you really see how, you know, really how cool these people are, how great these people are. And it's tough because... Uh, you know, when you watch a show, you got to understand something. You know, these people were picked for a reason. You get 16 people. They can all be, say, alpha male, alpha female. They're all maybe the center of their circle of friends. They're the outgoing one of their circle of friends. But when you put all 16 of them together in a room, you know, some people will outshine other people. And some of them may retreat into a more like, uh, you know, into the in more of that role of kind of a retreated role and let the other people, um, you know, step up to the plate, I guess if you want to call it, to be the main character or the center of attention. But again, also they're playing a game. So some people don't want that kind of attention. They want to sit back and let people fight it out, which is the right thing to do. So anyway, um, they're all great, amazing, amazing people. Loved Will. The guy's huge. He's six foot seven. He's huge. We clicked right away. Uh, a lot of them, uh, absolutely, a lot of them, uh, just clicked right away. So I uh, got to meet some of their families and friends and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. Uh, again, just a great, great, great weekend, and I'm really, really glad we did this. And uh, just congratulations to Paris. Amazing person. Great player. <clears throat> glad she won. Uh, Paris winning would have been great, or sorry, uh, Kayla winning would have been great too. Um, but either way, that's the way it goes. So anyway, guys, this is the recap. I, not much to talk about. Kind of rambled a little bit, but that's just the way it is. The season's over. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be doing the American one. We'll see how it goes. Uh, I most likely will do maybe, uh, when they release the cast, I'll kind of do my thoughts on the cast. Um, but other than that, we'll see how it goes. I'm so busy these days and it's just hard to find time. Like right now it's, it's late at night here in Ottawa. Just put the kids to bed. I'm tired, but I got to get this out. So I'll see how, if I have time to do it, if I do, I'll do some recaps. If not, I at least will do the, uh, assessing, uh, the cast and just kind of seeing how I think they'll play and fit in and all that stuff. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for following me throughout this whole season. Uh, I really, really, really appreciate the support. I see you. I hear you. Thank you so much. Uh, you've been amazing to me. So uh, anyway, guys, just, uh, you know, look for the videos in the future. Um, if there is a season seven, I will for sure be doing recaps for that. 
Not too sure on the American one right now, but I will have more things coming out soon. I have a lot of ideas, a lot of things that are going to be going on. So stay tuned. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys again uh, for everything you've done this season, the positivity, everything, for sharing these videos, for watching these videos, for commenting on these videos, subbing, liking, everything. You guys have been amazing. Thank you, thank you so much, and you'll hear from me soon. Take it easy, guys. Peace.